show you how adding a moss pole to your house plant can help with watering and supporting your plants. Today we are going to be using a Monsteria anisonii. It's a Swiss cheese plant. Uh, you may have heard it called that because of all the holes that you see in the leaves. Um, but we have taken a cutting and propagated it in water. And you can see we have the roots and they're very established. They're going great in this water. We have this new growth on this node. So we're wanting to take it today and transplant it into our new container. And we're gonna add a moss pole. And this will give you the steps on how you can succeed in transferring this cutting into a new pot. I have an orchid container that has holes for it to have water to be able to get away from and excess out into our container. So this is our potting mix. This is one that I have created. I have added not only um, tropical transplant, like houseplant soil, but I've added to it orchid bark, large pieces of perlite, and I even have some um, charcoal that are added pieces to this. What this does is it allows aeration for your plant and those roots so that they are not standing in free water. So that eliminates the chance of root rot. So we're gonna take some of our soil. This is our container. We're gonna start adding some of our base to our soil. So this is magna moss like we have here in this container, but this one has been wrapped with a um, nylon cord to make it really dense and compact in size. So first step is to take our pole and we're gonna insert it into our container. And we're going to go ahead and continue to put some of our soil and those large chunks in here around. We wanna make sure that we have it secure in here before we start um, adding our plant to it. We're gonna take our monsteria plant and we're gonna go ahead and take it out of its water. We're gonna go ahead and take those roots and start to put them gently down into our soil base. But we're gonna add our, our stem close to that pole. This will give us time to go ahead and add some more around or to cover those roots. We're wanting to go ahead and make sure that we have our soil around, but we have our plant on our pole. I'm gonna turn it just slightly to you so you can kind of see as we're going up. We see that as you have it securely against the bottom of the pole, it's great, but we can also go ahead and tether it so that it continues to have that upward form by adding some little pieces. So I have taken just some wire that has got plastic around it so it's not gonna be straight wire against our plant. So as it continues to grow, it's just gonna give it a guide, but it's not gonna cut into our stem. We're just wanting to secure the plant. We're gonna take another one, and so this one's kind of trailing up, this node is going. We wanna continue the upward vertical growth. So we're gonna take another one and secure around this stem around our pole, go ahead and twist it. Again, we don't wanna be extremely tight, we're being very gentle with it, just securing it to where it's still pulling, as you can see, it has some room to move away, but now it's still continuing that vertical growth. At this time, now you can fill in any of your soil that you need around the edges. Continue to put that in, and then you can go ahead and water it by misting. So we're gonna mist our pole. The good thing about this plant is that its requirements for water is limited. So once a week, you could set a, a routine and you can water once a week. You can mist your pole if you see it's starting to dry out during that week, you can go ahead and, and fill it. You'll see it has some moisture. It's gonna hold that moisture in that pole. So that plant's gonna be able to draw that moisture as it continues to dry out and, and work that moisture down. It's gonna be able to excess that water. So misting it or watering it from the top all the way down once a week is a way to go ahead and water your plant. 